What's up guys, this is Tim from FTH Cards and I just wanted to take a minute to talk about Jeff Wilson's video regarding drama in the hobby. Uh, most if not all of you have no idea who FTH Cards is it's because we're a brand new brand. Um, we're really looking to highlight the positivity in the sports card community. I have my notes here. I really wasn't prepared to put a video out and honestly to be transparent, we're still a few weeks from really launching and uh, coming out with content and breaking cards and we have an eBay store that we're starting. So uh, really wasn't ready for this video, but I felt compelled to say something after watching Jeff from Sports Card Investors video uh, regarding the drama. So I really think what Jeff was talking about is really what the hobby is about in the first place, which is collecting cards, engaging with the community, and just providing a really low pressure environment for people to just come and be who they are and escape from the real world jobs um, for a bit. And I really think that is shown through going to card shows, uh, shopping for cards, engaging with the community, going in Facebook groups, and really just engaging with each other in a really judge-free environment. Um, and Jeff is really right about when it comes to new collectors and enthusiasts and I mean even flippers to the hobby um, who are going to be engaging with cards especially with the rise of fanatics and we know they're probably going to be putting out some kind of advertising so there's going to be a ton of new collectors coming in and the last thing that we really want as a hobby uh, is to have everybody be exposed to all this drama and they're going to think that it's more than the 1% that Jeff says. And really at FTH Cards, we're focusing on being for the hobby. So we're really focusing on that positivity, engagement in the community, um, and really just being a pillar of what the hobby is supposed to be like. Um, you know, I really try to stay out of drama. I know me and, and Mess, my partner, really uh, try to just stay away from things. But you know, just the drama. And I know that there was one person in particular that really kind of went after a lot of people in the community that I thought were pretty positive. I mean, I've been engaging uh, for a few months now and have seen plenty of sports card investors and uh, videos and a bunch of other influencers videos. And I think they're all really positive. But a couple things were put out by uh, I know one main influencer in particular who's been in the hobby for a while, um, who was saying that, you know, in addition to all the terrible things he was saying about others, saying that people that watch videos about what cards to buy are beta males and can't make a decision for themselves on what card to buy. And I just thought that was really callous and not necessary. And he starts another video where he's bragging about his Tesla and, you know, there's just things that are not necessary in the hobby and not a reflection at all of from what I've seen in the hobby at all. So I really just kind of understand where Jeff is coming from. And he also attacked a lot of people personally, which is just not necessary. I mean, we're all coming here to be positive and engage with each other and really build a community that's supportive with each other. And people acting like that is just, there's no room for that in the hobby. And I'm also rediscovering the hobby after being out for a long time. So for me to see content like that, it's a little bit discouraging and I could totally see people starting to get into it and then seeing videos about scams and frauds and uh, you know negative videos about one another. It's just, there's really no place for it. Um, so, you know, really, I just wanted to make a quick video for everybody just to kind of talk about this because this is really what we're trying to highlight at FTH. We're really looking for positivity in the community. We're really gonna, bring some content to everybody and really focus on all the positive and good things that happen. We think that going to card shows is incredible. Um, it's really rare these days that you can find such a judge free, positive zone to just be yourself and express yourself. And it doesn't matter what your background is, where you came from. But if you want to sit and talk about sports cards for hours, you should be able to in a totally judge free zone, you shouldn't have to worry about where you came from or what you did or what you have or how many cards you have or anything like that. And even in my small experience, I've sat and talked to card owners for hours in their shop, much like Jeff said, which is really one of the reasons I wanted to make this video. And I've really felt compelled is because I totally resonated with that. I mean, I was me and mess were just in a card shop the other day. And we sat and talked to the owner for 30 minutes. And we happened to get there late. And it was right before they closed. And it's almost as if the guy didn't even care that we were sitting there talking. And, you know, most other places you try to go in when they're getting close to closing, and it's like, all right, get in, get out. And that's it. But this guy really felt engaged with us and wanted to talk to us. Shout out lucky cards in Levittown. Um, but yeah, just wanted to kind of make this quick video. Um, you know, we do have a few things going on that we're starting up like our Instagram. So if you guys want more content like this, uh, let us know. There's also uh, our YouTube channel here. We're working on an eBay store too. Um, you know, a couple videos we're going to be putting out soon. We got 
uh, going to talk about alternatives to downtown and kabooms with different short prints like super short prints like drip. We got force field and we got originals uh, at origins. Um, we're also going to be doing some breaks pretty soon. We got two boxes of illusions and we're working on some other stuff too. Um, so if you guys get a chance, please like this video, subscribe to the channel uh, and comment below and just let us know kind of what you think about this. Uh, anything that you like from us, maybe some content that you're looking to get produced or anything like that. And we look forward to engaging with you guys soon. Thank you and for the hobby.